Good evening, everybody, and welcome back to our Carpathian countryside gameplay. We are topping off our greenhouses at the moment. Uh, hold on. What the heck is going on here? Mojo, Farmer G, Simper Buffo, Tukey, and Waylon. Everyone is in chat. How's it going tonight? We were making some seed for our seed maker. Are we making seed for our greenhouses? There we go. Cherry, what's up? I hear, I hear. I was reading or hearing all about that. Interesting news. I'm going to talk a little bit about that. And what I think that might mean for farm sim, actually. Is Friday. Does Schultz know something about a bunch of maps dropping or something? Friday night is. Oh, it's not Forza anymore. I don't know. I have no idea what Kamar could be. Oh, what's what's pending release? Do share, do share. Oh, uh, a game called The Interior from Gamer Designs. So you do forestry maps? Is that where I'm trying to remember that name from? we'll have enough seed treatment liquid to finish that trailer off. He did a map with trees. Yeah, well, lots of maps have trees. Need to go get out the seed treatment liquid. Be right back. Hillaby Creek. He did Hillaby Creek. Okay. 
And then what are the other two that you uh, think? Daniel, good evening. Hello from Sri Lanka. Okay. I need a pallet of seed of treatment liquid. Oh, do I need a pallet of anything else? While I'm here. I don't think so. And then I need a trailer. Ah, uh, let's go with this one. Universal auto load is my friend. My friend. Okay, so that's the that's the Lancy Boy map that's coming back. Yes or no? Schultz is a modder? Schultz is a modder? He's got his shit coming out. It's pretty slick. I'll give him that. Alright, so American Falls is really just a republish. I didn't delete the map. Are you silly? Why would I delete the video? I mean, the guy's come and gone multiple times in the past. I just unlisted them all. that there and we'll get back to our seed making Tuki it'll even hold things you don't put in it it's magical things teleport into it every save it's like random Now that we have our chickens and our sheep, we're going to need a trailer to haul those products off anyway. Do you have a version of the shed that has no, has missing signing?
Good evening, everybody, and welcome back to our Carpathian Countryside gameplay. It is April, and I am hoping to get started with our corn planting tonight. But before that, we are uh, taking care of our greenhouses. They are running low on seed. They're running low on lime. And I believe they're running low on solid fertilizer. So we need to invest in our greenhouses a little bit. And then we'll get to putting corn in the ground, probably weeding our sorghum, which we planted yesterday. No, we planted sunflowers yesterday. Schultz long awaited. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh, that was. That was. That was interesting. Saved by the gate? Schultz's long awaited shed has finally gotten approved. It should be released tomorrow. An American style machine shed with some interesting configuration choices. Definitely be worth checking that out. We want solid fertilizer. It's going to cost a fortune. Henrik, I didn't have to watch out for the train. I've got a gate to drop that so saves me from it. It's going to be a expensive bill $28,000 are you kidding me I started with 60 grand this month So yeah, I'll just make uh, make the American Falls video public again. I'm sure it's still mostly correct. But I am going to see it out for a console. Hopefully, Court Farms can soon follow. Yeah, Henrik, he, he announced his return a couple weeks ago. It's been, it's the, the map's been in and out of testing for a couple weeks. forward to its release on console because well I'm all for platform parody and speaking of kind of platform parody and console Sherry Sherry mentioned something during the pre-show uh, related to consoles that is that Baldur's Gate is coming to Xbox this year once again it was delayed. It was potentially delayed through some point in time in 2024. But thankfully it has um, been approved for release. Contingent, an interesting, uh, an interesting feature removal. So, so apparently Xbox had a requirement that games must be feature have feature parity between series X and S 
platforms. So basically a game would play the exact same and have the same feature set on Series X as is S. Well, we know S is the cheaper variant. S is a, a lower spec Xbox. And apparently Baldur's Gate was having problems with their with their local multiplayer split, split screen functionality on Series S. I guess it didn't have enough oomph in the uh, CPU and possibly memory in order to do side-by-side -side multiplayer. And apparently that's not the only game as of late that has, has that issue. The upcoming Forza Motorsport also had that issue where uh, you could not do side-by-side -side multiplayer. Uh, there was another game. I don't remember that title off the top of my head that also had that same issue. And they basically have gotten an exemption from having to have feature parity between X and S in order to uh, to bring the game out on Xbox. And I got to thinking when I heard that, what could that mean for farm sim players? And I'm concerned, I'm concerned what that could mean is not, is not uh, no 4X maps coming to console. We've speculated that if they drop support for Xbox One and PlayStation 4, then the newer platforms should have enough resources to run a 4X map. There's been some talk that it's a save game thing and 4X maps save games are bigger. I think that's a big load of bull malarkey because you can have a massive 2X map or a standard size map that is got a very huge save game. Anyone that's done a lot of terraforming, your save game is going to be huge. Anyone with a ton of buildings or machinery, your save game is going to be huge. The land mass has nothing to do with your save game size file. But at any rate, my concern is, since we know the Series S is a lower powered machine, are you kidding me? That the Series S may still cause 4X maps not to be able to show up. 4,000 liters. That's what they take. Unless, 3,000. Unless Giants gets a pass, like Larian Studios, like Turn 10 Motorsports, or Turn 10 Studios, and at least one other game developer, in order to be able to offer that now maybe maybe a mod maybe they don't have to have feature parity on mods maybe they do i don't know but that was something that i learned about the feature parity between x and s and then that caused me a little bit of a concern as to what that could possibly mean for xbox players and the potential for 4x maps in the next iteration of farm sim because we're just assuming they're going to drop support for Xbox One with the next release. Static MS, thank you for the sub. A couple of days ago. Glad you are enjoying the content. Desert Ox, good evening. Good evening to you. I need to cut it off at four. Well, oh my gosh. Oh, wait, that's only 798. Okay, good. There we go. Well, Tookie, that's, 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 yeah, that's some speculation that, 
that a Baldur's Gate creator I've been watching, cynical as all can get out, uh, stated, right? Now that it's a massive seller on PC, it's basically the highest rated game ever, uh, according to uh, some game review sites that tabulate game reviews across the industry. That uh, not being on Xbox could sell their competitor platform. Right, the last thing they want to hear is, I went and bought a PlayStation so I could play that game. That's not an exclusive. So it's like, let's meet them at Gamescom and uh, figure out how can we make this work. Well, I think at one point they had close to 800,000 concurrent players. So let's do the math here. 800,000 copies sold at what was it? $59? That's a lot of money. Now, Steam takes supposedly 30% of that. That's a lot of money. In them coffers. I'm sure they've sold a whole lot more than 800,000 copies, right? That was just like the concurrent players. How many copies do you have to sell in order to have 800,000 people playing at one instant, right? Yep, Steam takes 30%. Apple takes 30%, Microsoft takes 30%, pretty much that's the industry standard, is 30%. Epic, everyone rags on Epic as being evil and awful for the industry. Epic's commission is, is a lot, a lot lower. Epic gets a bad rap from people that don't really understand. For example, in addition, like, Epic's Unreal Engine licensing is insanely insanely friendly for small developers. It's like you can license and use the Unreal Engine for free up until like your first million dollars in sales. And then at that point, it's a commission. It's a percentage commission. Oh yeah, they make bank on Unreal Engine, they make bank on Fortnite, right? But they're also making bank at the same time, they're basically giving the, uh, giving the engine away to small developers. Yeah, sure, develop on our platform. Develop on our game engine. And you can go ahead and release your games all you want. And then if, you know. And only after you've made a million dollars worth of, uh, of sales do we, do we really care. Speaking of that, did you go pick up your free title today? here for now. Oh, 
I never let that stop me. Turn that off. I did top off my pigs and cows since yesterday. Or since the other day. So I put some food in there. Put some straw in there. They're all good to go. I think I put some yeah, I put some food in there also. Where are we with our pigs? I think we got plenty of room yet. Oh, we're getting there. 216 out of 300. We got to keep an eye on that. How much poo we got in here? 996,000 letries. Indeed, indeed. One week till Starfield. I, uh... I picked my copy up over at um, Fanatical. They had a sale, an interesting sale. I think it was like 17% off. Plus, you got a random Steam key for a highly or for an overwhelmingly positive rated game. I got my code on Monday. Light it in the steam, so it's just sitting there waiting, waiting for early download. Bad rats too. I'll have to look up and see what I did get. I don't know why you turned off. Shouldn't the question be how many days did it take? Shouldn't that be the question? Oh, by the way, this video is brought to you by Northern Farm Sim and Eddie Rufus. Thank you for being farm barons. Would you load Forza now? It's not even going to be out for another six weeks. I was really surprised that's 130 some gigs too. 100, 200, 300, and like, like three games, 360 gigs between them. Minor illusion, good evening. Good evening to you, sir. I 
I'll tell you what, I am... I'm excited tomorrow's Friday. I can't wait for the weekend. Sleep in for like an hour. So we talked about, right, we have sunflowers here. We put corn into here. I don't know what I'm going to put in 14 and 16. Maybe. Uh, maybe. Maybe sorghum. Get to use our horse planter or horse cedar. Oh, I know how that is. Minor illusion. Right, today would have been a good day not to go to work. Eight in ATX connector. Your motherboard. Oh, so this is the CPU. you you should be fine with one. What CPU are you are you running? But you should typically be fine with one. The second one is is like is like if you're gonna be doing some kind of crazy crazy overclock or something. Yeah, the thirteen four hundred F should one hundred percent be fine with a single a single connection it's not going to be pulling the power that would require two eight eight pin PCI connectors I think it's like a 65 watt TDP. Of course, that doesn't mean how much it really. I don't think that really means how much it really pulls from the wall, but it, it's not going to pull a lot. Tell you what today I had I had it was like it was like help people with obscure windows problems today. Let me let me know. Who out there knows what the Windows Home S version is? Windows 11 Home S. Ran into this little problem today. I'll give you a little bit. No Schultz. You can't use Google to ask it what Windows Home S means. That would be cheating. Nope. Does not mean student version.
Okay, okay. So the Windows Home S version, it's the Windows 11 stupid version. That's, that's what I say the S means. Apparently, apparently the S means it is a streamlined version of Windows that has been designed for greater security by restricting the ability for the user to install apps to only those apps on the Windows App Store and only via the Edge browser. Henceforth, why it shall forever be known as the Windows stupid version. Why would I buy a computer that I am then re restricted from actually running any real apps from is beyond me. So, so I ran into this because we had a student come in. He couldn't install an app he needed to use for his class. So, of course, they show up, right? And every time he tries to run this executable, it says, this, for, this app is not in the App Store. No shit, Sherlock. It's not, because I downloaded it from the internet. That's like, you know, would you like to change your app settings? I guess I would to allow me to install from anything. Exactly, Schultz. <laughs> exactly. So, after a little while of digging around on the internet, I come up with some suggestions. And one of the suggestions is, is to go to, um, basically go to help about and see if it says it's Windows Home S indeed it was all right so if it's Windows Home S then the suggestion was to go to the apps menu go to advanced app settings and then there would be a choice to change change app installation preferences or something well this kid didn't have that option WTF internet so that's some more searching and I found apparently all you have to do is launch the Windows Store and there's a giant button at the top that basically says get a real version of Windows all you gotta do is click on that and then presto whammo, you can actually install stuff from anywhere. So, if you ever see anything trying to sell you Windows Home S, remember that's the stupid version and to stay away. Uh, at no cost. At no cost. There was a no cost upgrade. It went from Windows Home S just to Windows Home. David! Good morning. How's your Friday morning? Oh, I'm running out of money. I've run out of money.
Well, Sherry, there's a Windows 10 education that's really designed for schools. So I really don't know what S was for. Maybe it's intended for like eight elementary school or something. Yeah, N, N is actually required by the EU. N is a version of Windows that does not have the Microsoft browsers pre-installed. That was a debacle way back when uh, when they were bundling Internet Explorer. Um, well, they still bundle that. But they were basically bundling Internet Explorer and doing certain things to uh, to make getting alternate browsers difficult. But yeah, I've been I've been dealing with Microsoft volume licensing for well over a decade. Well, Farmer G, you know, safe, safe depends what safe is, right? If you're looking for mods that are going to be error-free, it's mostly safe from those. If they're looking for mods that are conflict-free, well, that, that's like a, uh, that's like a unicorn. It's it's mythical. It doesn't exist. A mod that's guaranteed to never have a conflict. But, you know, maybe they've been burnt. Maybe they've been burnt before. And, uh, you know, they're just extra cautious now. There's tons of Mod Hub websites not affiliated with Giants Mod Hub. In fact, all of them, other than one. There's only one Mod Hub that is associated with Giants, and that's the one over at FarmingSimulator.com. Every other one is a complete third party. thing run by individuals but yeah it's there's lots of Lots of folks that uh, heck is still mythical and uh, was mythical and uh, mysterious. We were looking, and I picked one up yesterday. We were looking at this interesting new product. At least I thought it's new called a uh, remark I think it seems to be a massively overpriced e-ink tablet whose sole purpose in life is to create digital notes it 
So you have a a stylus and you write on your e-ink tablet with your stylus and then it basically saves your your digital note your digital handwriting to the cloud and there was a department that wanted to get one and try it out so I looked at it yesterday it was priced out something like $2.99 for the tablet I'm like okay that's not bad that's not bad it's not super expensive then I discovered the stylus that you have to use with it is not included. And that's a $79 upsell. Or if you want to get the one with included eraser, that's a $120 upsell. And it basically says you can get your tablet without an eraser, but it's read only. Why would I buy a read only e-ink screen? Well, that would be called a Kindle. And I could get that for a lot less than $2.99. Then, okay, okay. Then we go over to the case. Well, would you like to protect your new device? Well, sure, you can protect your device. We have the folio case. That's $70. Or you could go with this other case. That's $120. So my $299 entry price is now closer to $500 plus dollars. And it's like, all right, what are you, yeah, what are you doing? And then, and then I get a, a, a free year, a free year of some, some subscription service that after the year is two ninety nine, and it's called something like connection subscription. So um, I haven't read about that yet. I'm like, what's this? Do I have to pay two ninety nine just to be able to cloud sync? This device after the first year are you nickel and diming me a year after I've been nickel and dimed to get something it's like it's like yeah we got we've got cars on the lot for ten dollars but but you know it's 150 bucks per wheel and you need tires and you need to buy rims and they're this much money and you're going to need brakes, so we're going to have to add this much to the price of the car. And you, you need an engine, so we're going to add a couple thousand dollars to the price of the car for that. And you need a seat. How many seats do you want? Right? They're $350 each. So I was like, what? Yeah, at 500 bucks, it's like, um, just go get an iPad. And a silly, silly priced Apple Pencil. That'll still be cheaper. beware I would not recommend buying the remark look it up it's crazy it looks like an interesting product and if it was priced $2.99 with pen and a simple slip cover 
it would be worth it, I think, for certain use cases. But by the time you get this out the door and shipped, the price is ballooned almost double. That's all right, it's not my money. David, that's great. That's great. Glad, glad you now have a vast opening. Any uh, Gamescom announcements today? Sherry, where would I find that uh, that Starfield video or trailer you talked about? I was poking around the internet. I was poking around the YouTubes, and it was never coming up for me, but maybe I wasn't doing the best search. So the Microsoft Xbox channel. Now I hear that the the new um, farm farm sim machinery bundle we were talking about on Tuesday the wheels pedal and um, and side panel joystick I hear that was at FarmCon and uh, individuals who attended FarmCon had the ability to play the a uh, early access version of premium edition with that bundle also there's somebody out there that has uh, some sort of video about it PAX West is next week anybody lives out on the west coast specifically in Washington state PAX West is going to be in Seattle. Now, of course, I know those states are rather large out west, so just because you are in Washington doesn't necessarily make it an easy trip. But it's definitely worth going and checking out. Giants will be there. I understand there will be some content creators attending as well. I think, I think probably some portions of it is. I don't know. Let's see how my field... F score is 95, 93, nice. Uh, Shay would have to explain what the Starfield video is about. I forget. I think I was showing off more gameplay, more features. Uh, 
I'll be curious if uh, if it has joystick support for when you're flying around. I was using a joystick earlier to load my TMR mixer. I was like, oh, I wonder if I'll be able to uh, fly my spacecraft with a joystick. Oh, uh, let me look, Schultz. Let me look. Um, it's this. Uh, coming September 6th. Right. Um, so September 6th is a full release. I don't see, I don't know. I don't see anything quickly on Steam. It's either, it might be September 1st. Yeah. I thought it was just five days, so. Maybe it depends how you count five days. August 31st at 8 p.m. So, literally one week from today. Are you saying, Sherry, that uh, that next Thursday's live stream should be the first ever launching of Starfield for me? And it'll be called Starfield WTF am I doing? Because literally I have no idea. Like no one has any idea than those that have gotten early access. And if that's the case, I'm glad I'm not going to PAX West because PAX West would start next Thursday. We need uh, to put the front tank on, but take that off and leave it right there. Uh, David's already announced. Uh, I I foresee. David has having a vision problem. He's not seeing himself make himself to work on Friday the 1st. I'm having a problem with my eyes. I can't see myself going to work. It does look like Starfield is all single player.
Okay. We're doing it. Uh, Simper, I believe you have to have purchased the premium premium version to get the EA. question on that is is does that add on um, does that add on that then give you um, do you keep the game after you end your game pass subscription that's what I'm trying to ask I don't know. I don't know. Uh, let me see what I got. I don't know. I bought it last week. I think I got premium last week. I didn't get premium. No, I didn't get premium. I think it just got standard. Uh, let me look. I gotta pull up my email. Steve, what's up? Welcome to the channel. How things go in Sydney. All right, now that's locked in. I have to log in. Well, I can't log in right now. Oh, here. Oh, uh, no, I just ordered a standard. Standard. Starfield. So I don't think I don't get I don't get it early. So there goes that idea. Yeah, I didn't see my, I didn't see, uh, I didn't see myself paying for a week early. Even though I'm just going to expense it. 
since it's a game I'm going to be putting in the channel, I'm just going to expense it out as a uh, as a YouTube expense. It's a good old. It's a business expense. So I'll be doing the same with uh, Forza. I'll be doing the same for City Skylines. Helps offset the YouTube revenue. Since YouTube doesn't take any money out for taxes. Yeah, obviously if if I'm gonna expense it I have to put it in the channel. All right, for me, the big wild card is how how much will I be playing it after? City Skylines is out, too. How how much will I be playing it after? Forza Motorsport drops. Well, it took you, you know, the big conspiracy that... that uh, AMD has never dispelled is that they they don't allow DLSS on on AMD sponsored titles but apparently there are a couple AMD sponsored titles that are big that do have it but one could argue that those titles that are big had the leverage to Basically tell AMD, AMD, that's nice, but we're still doing whatever we want. I think technically DLSS is still a superior um, upscaling technology when you compare the two side by side. But the fact is that DLSS is proprietary where FSR is open. Open is always better from a from a gamer con stance, but I believe DLSS is still better from a technical execution stance. They're basically the same concept, Tuki. What it is, is you set the game to run at a resolution that is lower than your monitor resolution. So let's say you play at 1440p. That's what your monitor is playing at. And let's say at 1440p, you, you don't get the best performance. 1440p native on the on the game well you can configure it to run at 1080p the game and then the card will upscale to 1440p and that upscaling is dlss or fsr and there's various ways that they cheat in doing these calculations uh and things like that 
but in essence the game is being rendered on the graphics card 3d engine at a lower resolution and then it's being upscaled uh, to be displayed at a higher resolution you can uh, you know you can go with 720p and then upscale to 1440p and basically you know your your game is your game is being rendered at half resolution to what it's being shown at and your results may vary based on game title as to how well that works in general if you're if you're graphics card will support native resolution that's what you should do yeah with with farm sim being locked at 60 right unless you deliberately unlock your frames you're not going to see any real intrinsic benefit other than maybe a lower power bill if you monitor your power usage of your computer In theory, it would be lower because the card's being utilized less. All right, that's done. And a title like a title like Baldur's Gate, you know. 60 frames, 40 frames, your frames, your FPS's really isn't that big of a deal. Starfield might be a little different story because there are some action sequences, some shooting, right? You want you want good frames for. Um, you also want good frames for. Like Forza. Makes driving a lot smoother. Schultz, that's disappointing. I don't understand why they would lock frame rates in multiplayer. What's the matter if I'm running 120 frames and you're running 90? I mean, really, does any other, does any other racing title that people actually take seriously do that?
I mean, it almost sounds like it almost sounds like they're they're locking frames in multiplayer so that you can have cross-play multiplayer between PC and console and PC players don't intrinsically have an advantage because everything is so much smoother above 60. Because I can't fathom a take me seriously racing sim doing that that's PC only. I really do like these Porsche Cedars and their crazy, crazy good turning radius. Really, really easy to go and make a full 90 degree turn and come right back on its row. Oh, I know, Hendrik, it does indeed. Did y'all get to see the, uh, the Gamescon trailer? I put a video out about it. Shut off some screenshots. I can pull it back up for folks if they want to see it. Pull up some screenshots. The red beets. The leaves on the red beets are, like, crazy. Crazy good. Let me get that pulled up. Let me pull it up. That was a that was a late night Tuesday. Oh, uh, here it is. All right, so here's one of the videos or one of the images. That was shown off. This is a new Bennar seed hopper. And I really don't know what this is. I don't know if it's a subsoil or what it is. Why it would be attached to a seed hopper? I don't know, but I don't think it's giving us a seed texture here. Quite honestly. Here we go. This is the new D Wolf harvester. We're harvesting red beets. As we can see there, hold on. And look at these leaps. Now I'm zoomed in 200%, but those leaps, they just stood out as soon as I saw this. And I was like, dang, that looks nice. Uh, looks like we're picking up what? One, two, three, four rows, right? Then we have the richer. We've seen this before. But here we have some houses. We've got a, a tower over here. It's part of the map. Here we have our, our cedar, our planter that goes and plants in the ridges. But look at the grass. The grass looks browner. Maybe it's brown during a certain part of the year. Maybe it's brown overall. And then I don't know what this is back here. We have smoke coming up. I was trying to see if this was maybe in some way a big animal pen, like a big cow building, or if it's some sort of production, right? It looks, it looks like something on the inside. We have 
It looks like wooden rafters. And then here we go. We got the new Semez mowers. We are we are windrowing here. Right? New butterfly mowers from Semez. And there we got that grass again. Like I said, it just looks looks a bit browner than uh, the normal grass that we see now. And uh, let's let's roll the trailer. Let's go back. So here we have the Oxbow Harvester slash Sprayer that is coming in the Oxbow pack on September uh, September 6th. September two weeks. One, two, three. September 4th, I guess it is. So it looks like we're going to be able to one, two, three. We're going to be able to spray four rows at a time with this configuration and then this also can become a a harvester there we saw our single row single row carrots this is putting them in a box a little box harvester uh una shallow cultivator there zoop zoop that's that's i think the soup factory There we had that Ben Nar again. So this says Arrow Land on it. We get the new sprayer with the windmill in the back. There's our stoop factory again. I mean, look at this distance distance trees now of course we're talking about the premium edition but there we have our church we've seen this angle before at uh, farm con so we have the oxbow pack oh there we get some some footage of the oxbow stuff working So a sprayer again, the 5105 manure spreader. Look at that beast. Then this is that massive 12 meter wide merger. <coughs> we got the horse pack. We have our hand forage pack, right? This is premium edition. So one, two, three, four. This is that deep wolf harvester. So we have a four row harvester. It does have storage and then it is offloading onto a conveyor belt. We got more of that sprayer. Some more scenes from the map. self-propelled sprayer 20 crops with all the crops plus the three new now we're gonna get a first look at some of these animal areas there's a house with a stork we've got that windmill again so i don't know if these are new i think these are not new bees i think we've seen these bees before So there's a there was a new chicken coop. So here's the back of a new chicken coop. So a stork. Here we have a new pig area, new pig building. A 
another closer up angle of this windmill and building the storks got a river so we're gonna have silver run forest water lining through here and that's it All that beautiful beat footage. Now that those beats look nice. Uh Schultz, I do not know anything about. Um I I yes, I suspect the oxbow stuff will work with those. Sorry. Brain was reading slower than it should work just fine with these. I mean, these attach to everything. Right? You don't need to use this tank to attach to that. You could attach that to this tank if you wanted. We should, we should, um, we should have access to that next Friday. So Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, we should be in a position to do some, some streaming of early access to the, to the Oxbow pack. If Giants keeps to their normal normal schedule because it is it is releasing am I getting the date right it is really no it's releasing September 18th September 19th no so four weeks not two dummy four weeks so not next week three weeks Sherry, I hope you get years of good... Oh, Delilah. Sorry. What am I doing? Delilah, I hope you get years of good performance out of that. Yeah, I think all the buildings that we've seen look really good. And, of course, they have the blog post from last week that lists everything that's coming in premium edition lists all the machines and all the build mode buildings the decorative elements 20 different placeable fences I was I was just too many dates too many dates farmer G too close together A happy early birthday. Let's everyone wish former G a happy, happy early birthday. Maybe, maybe Schultz can get you the Oxbow DLC for your birthday.
Well, that is a that is a heck of a run there. Ten years. What was the what's the what's the GPU in the old one? Nothing new in the sale category. Anything new in the Oh yes. I accept. I accept your terms through and through. David is going to be star fielding from sunup to well past sunup on Sunday. Definitely, I had a, uh, I still have a 1070 Ti. Sitting in a PC on the other side of the room. It, uh, it was, it was last on, uh, earlier this year and it ran games fairly well at 1080p. Yeah, based on based on current trends, Tukey, NVIDIA really screwed up when they released the 1080. And the 1080 Ti, it was way, way too powerful. It made it made the 20 series look junk because the upgrade really wasn't all that there. It still performed very very well compared to the 3000 series, and only just now with the 4000 series is it really falling falling down the uh, down the charts. Well, I can't wait to see what the eye candy looks like. See how it looks on uh, on PC compared to console. What are you doing? Jimmy Christmas. Fire that guy, he's been drinking on the job. That's not bad for a UMRV. I mean, UMRV is going to drag down a lot of things.
I just like seeing animations like that. Three point going up and down. That's a pretty big up up tick. 4770 up to a 13400. Very, very capable 1080p system right there. I tell you what, though, my biggest, my biggest worry is, is, is video RAM, VRAM. That's what I made that. Um, yeah, with the consoles now being 16 gigs of shared memory, it's like the the the, uh, the constraints have been pulled back from developers. New titles are are engineered and being designed to take advantage of 10 gigs, 12 gigs of uh, of VRAM. I know when I upgraded my gaming laptop, I was very, very cautious about parts with eight gigs for that very thing of, of longevity and, and age. Yeah, I think I, uh, what is it? Is the force, does the 460 have an eight or a 16? Or as the 460 Ti's 8 and 16. It'll be interesting to see. And there may already have been a video on hardware unboxed. It'll be very interesting to see videos comparing the 8 and 16 gig variants. Through different titles like Hogwarts. Legacy, and uh, there was another one recently that had a lot of stuttering on The uh, Last of Us. That was one. Had a lot of stuttering on 8 gig cards. But that's if you try, you know, you can always lower the texture, texture quality a little bit. And quite frankly, a lot of times the difference between ultra and medium texture quality. It, it takes a pixel peeper to, to really pick it out. And a pixel peeper, I am not. I'll see videos where they compare screenshots of different texture settings and different texture packs I'll be like, uh, what am I supposed to see? Because they both look fine. They both look fine to me. these plants all these fields we get all these fields seeded April 2nd I'm gonna go in and do some fertilizing contracts 
Get some more money in the coffers. We need to... We need to... Um, spray our sunflowers. Oh yeah, I mean games games that Well I think I think a lot of titles a lot of titles in order to get that four well definitely a hundred percent on Xbox X to get that four K sixty there's there's some serious upscaling going on from like ten eighty P to the four K to get that but if you're playing on a TV at at couch distance right you're gonna have a different viewing experience than on a monitor at arm's length distance that a PC player would be typically playing at Unless I'm wrong. Unless most console players play like right up in your face type mode. Well, show, I mean, yeah, it's, it's the lean back versus lean forward gaming experience. Lots of times folks will refer to consoles as the lean back, the lean back gaming experience. Right, you're on a couch, you're leaning back, right? More casual, more chill. Whereas PC, you're more lean forward, right? You're much closer to the action. that scrunch them up having the having the vertical resolution the same but the horizontal different or is it there's a black bar besides those right now but field 17 is my favorite Schultz, I don't know you, but Watkins Glen last night, that was just terrible. 
I, f I feel like I spent more time backwards than forwards. Hopefully Sunday is far better. Indeed, and if, if those rear tires get lit up, man, if you don't take care of those rear tires, they don't hold, they don't hold grip for nothing. It just didn't grip up. I don't know. Ah, uh, so what I do. What I do is I have, I'm, I'm running 2560 by 1440. And then I have the, the UI scaling set to 70%. So my, you know, the general UI is smaller, but I'm literally an arm's length away from it. So I feel it gives me, it gives me more screen real estate for content. And the F1 menu isn't being taken up by so much space. Yeah, that isn't taking up so much space. I've not tried setting the UI to above 100. Elliot, Jim is here. Hold 20 minutes before we leave. We are, what can I say? We are honored to have Mr. Aliens. How's it going, sir? We've been up to of late. Well, yeah, I fully understand. I'm getting, I had. I had the, the eye doctor call me up like a week ago. And they were like, oh yeah, we were, we're calling you about your appointment that was scheduled for um, October. It's like, okay. They're like, you're, the doctor you've been using 
has left the practice. So we'd like to reschedule. Okay, that's cool. Would February 2024 work? I, uh, I would really like something sooner than later. Thank you. I don't know what date we got set, but going from October to February was a bit much. But I'm at that point where, yeah, I need to, I need to zoom up the font on the phone, right? Try and Trying to read text on the PC in the morning is often a little bit more difficult than reading text on the PC in the afternoon. Now I could take I could take my contacts out and I could see the individual pixels on my on the screen of my phone. Right? I have zero issue with up close vision. But I can't, you know, everything, really more than like two feet away is blurry. And the eye doctor last time I was there, they wanted to do something and I wouldn't let them. They wanted to give me two different prescriptions. They wanted to do one eye for distance and one eye for close. And I was like, no, we're not doing that. But growing up, I actually had bifocals growing up. Um, for distance and reading. And then when I moved to contacts, after I graduated high school, they just, it was just, you know, normal. But I'm not sure I want to go back to the bifocals. They were saying what they could do is they could give you a little less less power and the less power you have right, you sacrifice distance for close a little bit oh, I'm doing pretty good doing pretty good, we're moving into busy time at work is the time at work that'll be cleared up here in a little bit though we'll get all settled in see all these map releases as of late have been keeping me hopping Oh yeah, if I took the contacts out, I could, I could read the phone perfect. As long as it was within probably a foot to a foot and a half from my face. Was a it was a minus three. And they knocked me back a little bit. I think they need to knock me back a little bit more.
But yeah, I was telling him, I was like, well, actually, I wanted to kind of get in sooner than later, because, uh, I think we need to adjust the, adjust the powers of the old lenses. Yeah, I do look forward to Zilonka, seeing how it looks, because, of course, right, these expansion maps are early indications of what we'll see with the next iteration of Farm Sim. And, of course, when the next iteration of Farm Sim comes out, all of these cool and crazy new features will be open and unlocked and available for wizards of creativity like alien jim to make their own beautiful creations using those new techniques imagine imagine the uh the things a guy like like aj can come up with having access to the the roller coaster production thing right the the boat building production concept i mean obviously we'd be building spaceships and launching them into space because launching tractors into space gets old after the first 75 times doing it. Right? If only they would listen to intelligent people like myself that have said, look, look, release SDK documentation on how people who already own the DLC can use the DLC in their own creations so others with the DLC can enjoy those new features in other creations. Why? Why not? If I have to own it to make use of it, and you have to own it to play it. The only thing that that's going to lead to is selling more of it. Right? I didn't. Well, let's let's pretend. Let's pretend. I didn't buy premium edition because I don't like doing forestry. Premium edition is all about forestry. I'm not going to buy it. But if a map by my favorite map author comes out that requires premium edition to make use of some really cool things that everyone's all hyped on well i just might dump some money down on the ground to get this premium edition thing that i don't want to do any forestry on because i want that new functionality in that map from that map author that i really like playing maps from Time and time again, it's been demonstrated. If you make it easy for someone to get something that they want, they will get it legally because it's not hard. Look back, we talked about this before, Napster, right? And, and Pirate Bay and, and, early early 90s music piracy was just absolutely rampant because 
the emergence of MP3 players. Everybody wanted their digital music on their MP3 players, but there was no easy way of getting your digital music to begin with. You had to either know how to take your tapes and CDs and digitize them and then put them on your MP3 player, or you had to somehow obtain digital versions of that music that you owned, wink, wink, right? That you owned. Well, there's only one way of doing that, and that's to obtain a copy from someone else. Well, if I can obtain a copy from someone else on music that I own, wink, wink, there's no reason I can't obtain copies of music that I maybe will own at some point, wink, wink, right? I'll, I'll get the album, I'll download the album and I'll listen to it, and if I decide I like it, I'll buy the disc, I'll buy the CD. And I'll put it on my shelf. But I'm never going to listen to it on a CD player anymore because I have now my MP3 player. Right? Well, piracy was rampant. It was everywhere. Everyone was pirating everything. Because we wanted to put music on their MP3 players, we didn't have an easy way to do it. Then Apple launches the apps, the, uh, the iTunes Music Store. Others launch the their music stores. Google, Microsoft... They once had an MP3 player. They had a music store. Lots of people had music stores. There aren't too many left, right? But then it became easy. Easy to get that new album. Legitimately, and it became easy to put that album on your player. Piracy ended. Not overnight, but ended pretty dang quick. It still happens. It still happens, but the vast majority, the vast majority of the public just, right, new album comes out, they just go to iTunes, they go to Amazon, they go to wherever they get their music from, and they pick it up, and they put it on their player, and they enjoy it. They don't think, they, they don't think twice about it. So if you make it easy for people to get things, all you're going to do is sell more of it. That's my business rant. I should have fired this up. Does this work? Yeah, that worked. Maybe one day. No, probably not. Anybody able to go to Gamescom? Do we have any international viewers that are able to go to Gamescom? It's a little late for those, uh, those, you know, European natives. Apparently Giants had a tractor there. They had that new Hori um, heavy bundle. Steering wheel, pedals, joystick. I would love to have some information back on that as far as the experiences especially from someone that may or may not have uh, owned the Logitech heavy equipment bundle to compare the two but a $399 price tag that's that's steep that's steep I feel it's probably worth it at $299 but a $399 or a $499 I feel it's way out of its price league. Because for that price, you can get something like the wheel I have, which is Thrustmaster T300RS. That will work flawlessly across any driving title you ever have. It includes force feedback. Has some nice sturdy construction. Right? Just feels like it's going to hold up. You don't get a side panel, that's for sure, but still. I just don't see that wheel and pedals working flawlessly across lots of titles.
And I don't see it having feedback other than a, a spring. The base just doesn't look big enough to have that uh, that motor in there in order to do that feedback. All right, that is done. We need to fertilize our sorghum. We're going to fertilize those contracts. Schultz says we're going to have at least one map to do tomorrow night. Schultz says American Falls is coming to console possibly as early as tomorrow. So if that's the case, I'll republish that video from when it came out on PC and then immediately vanished within 24 hours. Schultz apparently has a building coming. It's definitely worth checking out. An American style farm building with some interesting little features. Alien Jim likes to hold all his cards close to his chest. Who knows when he'll wow us with some new amazing thingamabob. Uh, well, I got the wife's monster, but she, you better watch out. She's not very nice when she doesn't have her monster. She releases her monster within Let's just say. And I'll be having some bacon in the morning. I tell you what, AJ, if you ever show up at my doorstep, I'll make you some bacon. That'd be a heck of a trip. That'll be a heck of a trip through time and space. I want to thank everybody for coming out and watching tonight. We're going to be streaming here on Carpathian Countryside for another two weeks or so and then we're going to shift over to Starfield. We were talking a little bit about Starfield earlier today. Alien Jim, are you uh, are you getting into the Starfield craze? Or have you, uh, have you been enough in space and you don't really need to, uh, to play a game about space domination? Keep an eye on the channel. We might have some map drops tomorrow. And if that's the case, we'll be doing map videos tomorrow instead. If we do do map videos, we might uh, might do an afternoon, Saturday afternoon live stream. Alien you know, Jim will be flying around his own Starfield ship, he says. And until next time, happy farming.